Police arrest these guys for what they call a prank that went terribly, terribly wrong. Hey everyone, I'm Jessica Suknanen, and this is your Daily Pitch. Police say a man crashed on a friend's couch, and these guys woke him up by setting him on fire. Ray Mullen had third degree burns on 30% of his body. It happened back in March, but the story is getting attention now because he's trying to raise money on GoFundMe to pay for his medical bills. David Salt and Brandon Perez were charged with aggravated arson, aggravated assault, and conspiracy. Here's what else came out of our pitch meeting. Smoking marijuana could actually motivate you to get to the gym. That's according to a new study from researchers at the University of Colorado Boulder. They surveyed more than 600 people in states where recreational marijuana is legal. They found people who smoked before or after hitting the gym said they worked out more. Maine is the first state in the country to ban styrofoam containers. The governor signed the ban into law this week because styrofoam can't be recycled in the state. It's part of the ongoing debate around the use of single-use plastics in the U.S. States like New York and California have taken similar steps by banning plastic shopping bags. Others, like Tennessee and Florida, have made it illegal for local municipalities to regulate them. Google is finally giving users a little more control over their data. You'll now be able to automatically delete your location history and web activity data attached to your Google account. In your Google settings, you can choose to automatically delete your data in three or 18 month intervals. Once enabled, any data older than that selected time frame will be automatically deleted on an ongoing basis. If you've got a friend you're secretly in love with, Facebook wants to help you out. The company announced a new feature called Secret Crush that lets you tell your Facebook friends when you have a crush on them. They'll only receive the notification if they've said they have a crush on you too. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you again soon for your next Daily Pitch.